So thank you guys. I'm Nikhil Hasija, co-founder and CEO of Azuqua. We're the cloud automation company. And you guys are building web services, consuming web services, etc., building APIs. Think of us as the eHarmony of your APIs. <laughs> <laughs> we let your APIs get married together and make little babies. Um, <laughs> not like, you know, I mean, what you do with IE later on is, a, is your business. But. but they will be tracking you like the NSA. <laughs> so set that do not track flag on. Um, okay, so, you know, just to show you a demo of what we actually do and set the stage, we thought, you know, we put together something interesting in the spirit of Hollywood. Wait, 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 just we just we understand that people love to connect and this is what this is about before and after but during the presenters have really worked hard to come share the amazing things they're creating in their companies in Seattle and we want to honor that so please shh and listen to what the man has to say thank you uh, okay so it's the holidays and just to show you what we what we do and how quickly we connect these things together we put together a quick little demo for you guys so, because it's the holidays, it's also the season for giving. And, you know, getting gifts is good, giving them is even better. So what will we do? We will match a dollar per tweet up to the number of attendees here. We're a startup, so, you know, uh, don't put a bot on us or anything. Uh, so we'll get the final count from them. Up to the number of attendees today, we will donate a dollar per tweet. and. Um, Basically, we've selected three charities for you. Um, St. Jude, you know, awesome charity, helping kids. ASPCA, if you like your pets. And United Way for everything else. So, so pick, I'm gonna leave this here for a second while I tell you about our company, but pick one of these and please tweet the tweet you see for your charity. So add a Zuqua, donate, hashtag donate to charity, colon, add, the charity name that's listed. Only these three will do, uh, because these are the only three we will send out a check to. I don't think you'd want a dollar check going out. It'll be probably more work than it's worth. Um, all right, so what does Azuqua do? Like I said earlier, we are the eHarmony for your APIs, so we connect your APIs together. You've got, you've got cloud services growing up the wazoo. You've got, um, you can go provision your Salesforce instance in a minute. You can actually provision your services in a minute. However, it takes an act of God sometimes to connect these things together. So that's where we come in. We actually help you connect these services together in an orchestrated workflow in the cloud really, really easily. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. So you guys have got this tweet. I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build a campaign to um, how I'm gonna build some a, a workflow to manage this campaign, okay? So let's go ahead and build it. I wanna jump into our design environment. This is uh, Flow. That's, um, you've got some commonly used scenarios over here, so if you wanna connect services, you know, this is where people would come in and say, hey, I wanna use a commonly used scenario, I'll click on that. Um, and if you're an ISV and you're interested in partnering with us, see us, your uh, APIs will show up here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and create one from scratch. What I wanna do is, you're gonna be tweeting at Azuqua, so I'm gonna monitor our Twitter account. So I'm gonna go click on Twitter, monitor the mention or reply, and then that mention or reply, oops, not mention or reply, search. I wanna search for the at Azuqua, hashtag donate tag, and that's that. And now these are the fields that are coming from Twitter. I've got the content, the username, anything. And what I wanna do is I wanna figure out now which charity you're sending this to. So I'm gonna go into our logic computations. I'm gonna pull something called the key value parser, which doesn't have an image right now, and drag the content in here, and I wanna extract the name of the charity, right? So the charity name comes out from here. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna tweet back to you saying, hey, thanks very much for your donation. And um, let's tweet back to you and say, thanks, you know, username for your 
donation or something, dollar one will be donated on your behalf. That's good enough. And then in reply to the status ID that the email you sent, et cetera. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to send me an email also because I want to keep track of it. I'm an old fashioned guy, right? I want to send me an email to Nikhil at zuqua.com, subject, send the name of the tweet, the username or something in the body, send the content that you sent, et cetera. And then I want to put it inside a Google Sheet that I put together, the Adro. Um, and there's an STM donations Google spreadsheet that I put together. And it's going to look at that spreadsheet, get the fields from there. And I'll drag the username over here. I'll get the charity from over here. And I'll get the content from over there. And poof, I'm done. I'm going to save this as STM donation demo and save that. And poof, I'm done, right? Now let's go ahead and take a look at my emails and see there you go. You guys, I mean, it was already running. I just created it for you to show you, right? So this is all the stuff that you've been tweeting. Thank you so much. Um, we will make good on this to your uh, charities. So it works. Uh, Woo! All right. OK, so that's just an example scenario. But you could create a whole lot of stuff together. And I'm going to quickly pop back in here and uh, present back. So you've got that. Very quickly, you can take your channels, add events or actions, put logic in the mix, and then have it available. As a developer, you can get in via an API endpoint. Every single flow that we create has an API endpoint. You can go back to your own API as well. So let's say you want to monitor Twitter, put apply some logic to it, and then send it to your service. You can do that, a snap. Some of the things you can do, if you're a marketing person or know of some, social monitoring, that's big. I heard it's going to change the world. Um, you can do that. If you're a salesperson, you can do lead tracking and scoring of your leads as they come in. So you don't have to have you know, lead, track, lead scoring happen after the fact. If you're in human resources, you can do applicant tracking. Some of our natural language processing uh, logic, you can actually find out if the person that you're hiring is in the domain that you want to look for. If you're IT, of course, there's system integration. And if you're a developer, this is the wild, wild west for you. Um, so for what we're offering today for all the STM attendees is three months free on our platform. That is after we announce our pricing, and it'll be reasonable. Uh, so right now, you can get it for free as well. Email us at stm at azuqua.com after you've signed up, and we'll just put you on that plan. We're hiring the UI, a UI developer. If you like our UI and you want to make it even more awesome, come join us, talk to us. Uh, and then every week, we do a meetup. It's at meetup.com slash the cloud. We host it at our office, and we discuss things like cloud automation, et cetera. So thank you very much. I hope to see you guys online, um, or as they say in the Apprentice, uh, you know, Google Apprentice movie, On The Line, and uh, around here as well. Thank you. Okay. So two questions. Who has a question for Azuqua? Serious, come on. No, they can't be speechless. My question is really simple. Can I look at the code and say, okay, this is what I created, and this is the code you created? Yeah. And I can use it for code. So well, please our, repeat the question. Just yeah, make sure everybody Sure. The it. question um, is this word? Hi. The question is, can you look at the code and reuse the code? So we are a metadata-driven development environment. All the code is generated for you for these flows on the server. If there are scenarios where you want to create your own channels, that's absolutely you can go create the code, et cetera, and consume uh, that channel inside the, uh, the system. And you have the ability to put in, inject your own code into the process as well. So how did you choose the API partners? And if you have an API you'd like to see integrated into this, do I have to work with you, or is there an SDK that I can sort of build and plug into so it happens automatically? Sure. Uh, so we spent uh, the last six months actually building the API builder. And we are very soon going to be making that available. So you can go ahead and consume any API that we don't have. 
Obviously, we don't want to be building APIs. There's many companies here that want to build APIs. So you can go ahead and do that. It's uh, metadata driven. It then goes and generates all the code that is necessary to communicate with our service. We'll have API endpoints, et cetera. Also, so you can get statistics. You can provision these flows on a programmatic basis. You can start and stop them. And you can invoke them through uh, an API endpoint as well. Let's hear for Zuqua. Thank you.